I'm in VirtualBox 7, and I'm going to log into an operating system that I installed earlier. And what I want to do is create a link between the files and folders that are on my host computer and VirtualBox using what's called shared folders. Shared folders works by first creating a folder or designating a folder on your host computer. And I'll call this one shared just to make it easy to find. And there's my path, SQL, and backslash shared. So I'm going to copy that path. And now I'm going to go up to machine settings at the top. Now your computer can be running. This is one of the few things where your computer can be running to set this up as opposed to needing to be shut down for pretty much everything else. So I'll go to shared folders and then I'm going to go to where it says machine folder. So I need to highlight machine folders, click the plus and then choose the folder path. So I'll choose other. Folder name is going to be the default of the name of the folder itself, which is shared. I don't need to worry about the mount point. I can choose read only if I don't want any changes being made to it. And I want to choose auto mount and make permanent if the next time I restart, I want it to also be available. So I'll click OK. And now it shows up under machine folders. Click OK again. Now I'm going to go to my file explorer and this doesn't matter what your virtual machine operating system is as long as it's a windows one and it's going to show up for me under network so i'll click on network and i'll choose to turn on network discovery and there's my vbox server i'll just choose Yes or no to that doesn't really matter. Uh, now I'm going to show my VBox server. This is what I'm looking for. So if I double click on my VBox server, look at that. It shows me the shared folder. So I'm going to double click and now it's empty. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose to create a new file. I'll just call it test. There it is. I'll minimize and I'll refresh. And there's my test file. Now I can drag and drop, copy and paste, whatever it is that I want. And now that file is now available both on my virtual machine as well as my host machine. So this is how you can move files back and forth in VirtualBox if you don't want to use drag and drop or the copy and paste options, which are also available under devices and shared clipboard as well as drag and drop. But in some cases that just doesn't work, even if you set it up properly. But shared folders always seems to work for me and it should work for you as well, especially if you have problems using the other options. So that is how you set up and use shared folders in VirtualBox 7.